Power efficiency, great display, excellent build and form factor. These are the top three things that the laptops I'm going to introduce you to are offering. And no other lineup best offers a premium laptop work experience than these Asus ZenBook 14 OLED series laptops. And having experienced the Asus ZenBook 13 OLED laptops last year, the 14 inch series got me all excited. The difference being more than the one inch screen size. There are very noticeable improvements to the new lineup and this refreshed lineup includes the ZenBook 14X OLED UX5401, ZenBook 14 Flip OLED UP5401, and ZenBook 14 OLED UX3402. At this point, I'll be reviewing the ZenBook 14 Flip OLED UP5401, whose difference with the UX5401 is how far the screen can fold. Flat and flip. I might probably get the UX3402 later this year as it is yet to hit the market. So watch out for that experience. But as I got the chance to engage with the ZenBook 14 Flip for a couple of weeks, I'll sum up my experience in 10 pointers. Screen. How great and tall thou art. Now, this had to be the first point, cause in all honesty, Asus aced the screen test, wrapped it up and served it for dinner a while back. What? With the adoption of OLED panels, cause they are beautiful to say the least. With 550 nits of brightness that come with the OLED awesomeness, the ZenBook 14 series tops it up with a four-sided nano edge display, fashioning a tall aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Another add-on to the screen would be the impressive refresh rate of 90 Hz for a smoother and more responsive screen experience. Point to note is that the 90 Hz is available only on the 2.8K screen version, which is the basic one and not the 4K option, but still. Hey. Did you hear that? Hey, Jesus. 2.8K as basic. OLED as standard. Wow! Hey, see, we are sorry. Can I just mention that in as much as this is one point about the screen, just the fact that it is an OLED screen makes it five points. You don't know what I mean? Check out this video where I went through five reasons why OLED is way, way, way better than LED or LCD. I'll add an extra link in the description box down below to get back to, just for good measure. Wait a minute, build for portability. Hey, quite a sensitive subject this one. Uh, a heavy one in fact, or is it? Do you get my joke? But we gotta do what must be done. Let's talk about its weight. Now, considering all the things that needed to go into this laptop while not compromising on the build quality and performance, the total weight achieved is no mean feat. First, it's made out of a strong magnesium alloy that meets military grade standards against accidental bumps and drops, has a 15.9 millimeter thickness, and still comes in at 1.4 kilograms. Hey! Portability clearly is very essential in this case, as it can easily fit in most bags discreetly, making it one of the lightest convertible laptops of its class. Wait. I didn't mention that this is a two-in-one convertible laptop. I didn't start by saying that this is a laptop that can also be a tablet. I did it! No! Tab top, laplet, laptop and tablet. Imagine. A tablet that you can use as a laptop or a laptop that you can use as a tablet. The design is so elaborate and impressive, they still got to keep the ego hinge lift on the laptop just as you're about to lay the screen flat on the surface. You get your heat dissipation in laptop mode and in tablet mode, it can either be held like a book or propped up in the tent mode, a mode I did quite enjoy flexing with, and even in standing book mode. Coming with an OLED touch screen with 0.2 microsecond response time plus stylus pen support with incredible latency that offers a natural paper-like reading and drawing experience. Productivity on the ZenBook 14 Flip makes you forget the need for any smaller or bigger devices. It's a bit bulky to hold with one hand on tablet mode, I must add, but you could either get used to that or even working with it on a flat surface. I mean, you have options. Don't we love options? Keys board, not this keyboard. The typing experience on the ZenBook 14 Flip OLED is pleasant with the keys well shaped, nicely spaced and laid out. Not too far, not too close. And the key travel of 1.4 millimeters giving enough feedback to let your fingers feel the depression well enough to move on to the next key. 
It has three levels of backlight brightness on the keys with hotkey functions of which I will mention three. One is the 720p webcam on off toggle switch, the internal microphone switch and a power mode function key. By pressing the function and F key, the ZenBook 14 Flip OLED can toggle between three modes, performance, balance, and whisper mode. More on this later. A nice revision to the keyboard is the depressed power button that serves as the fingerprint scanner. Due to its low level positioning on the keyboard, chances of accidentally switching off the laptop are less, and they even gave it a different actuation force to still remedy the accidental turnoffs. Interestingly, the fingerprint scanner doesn't need you to use any force on the power key to work. A slight touch and you're in, super fast. The numpad 2.0 takes over the trackpad, which is quite big and very responsive. The space left on either side of the trackpad is sturdy and large enough to comfortably rest your hands when typing, adding on to the typing experience comfort. Laptops as fast as us, es us, es us. Boost up, coming in with an 11th gen Core i7 CPU, coupled with 16 GB of RAM and options of up to one TB SSD, Intel Iris Xe graphics, the speed in handling medium to heavy tasks is remarkable. I managed to comfortably edit and preview footage without the need to render on the timeline on Adobe Premiere Pro. There is a performance boost feature you will definitely enjoy, the Asus Intelligent Performance Technology. It is responsible for balancing out power efficiency and performance on the ZenBook 14 OLED series. Remember the function key and F key combination? This switch up of power, performance and battery life is the result. Uh, on the butt end uh, of it all. Uh, performance is one thing that really affects battery power when it comes to heavy tasks. The Asus Intelligent Performance Technology tries to remedy this, especially when on battery mode. I was able to exhaust the battery in an average of five to six hours of heavy use in performance heavy tasks, and an average of seven to eight hours in light use in the whisper mode. But as disappointing as those numbers may sound, the 63 watt hour battery is capable of recharging back to 100% in approximately 90 minutes, thanks to the provided 100 watt USB-C charger. Now, what came to me as a pleasant surprise though, in something that I always wondered why not possible before, is the fact that I can recharge the laptop, albeit slowly, with a type C cable and power bank. Yeah. You had me right, power bank. So in the event that I'm on the road and I have just, you know, uh, to finish up a report, yet I've run out of juice, a power bank is enough to juice me up in the right amount and even sustain me long enough to help me get to a power outlet. Talk about power efficiency with, get this, a 2.8K OLED screen at its best. Yes, it is everyone's type C. The tech world is finally coming to terms with a universal charging port for all electrical devices, phones, laptops, etc. And USB Type-C seems to be the lucky or unlucky port. Since its invention, it has provided a lot of connectivity options and functionalities. From Type-C, you can get power charging, sound transmission, display capabilities, connectivity to other devices, you name it. And with the ZenBook 14 series coming with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, you have unlimited options of what you'd want to expand to. Then there are other ports as well, HDMI, micro SD, an audio jack, and one USB type A port. It has been kept very basic and enough to keep the laptop as compact as possible, but not deprive the user quick access to the necessary connectivity options. Another connectivity flex that you might not want to miss out on is supported by my Asus app via Bluetooth. As a work laptop, how does the idea of picking and making calls from your laptop seamlessly connected to your phone sound to you? You don't believe me? See it for yourself. With very simple steps, I am able to connect my Android or even iOS device to the laptop to seamlessly operate between the two. I sometimes am too engrossed on the job, I miss important calls. This ensures that that does not happen. Also, if I have an important call or I need to be on the phone, I need to avoid the rabbit hole temptation that comes with phone notifications just by picking it up. One social media alert is enough to rob me of two hours of work, I tell you. Speaking of the internet, 
Wi-Fi 6 allows you fast internet access, and it's made even better by ASUS Wi-Fi Master Premium Technology, which includes ASUS Wi-Fi Stabilizer and ASUS Wi-Fi Smart Connect. So ZenBook 14 Flip OLED connects seamlessly to the best Wi-Fi signal and non-mobile hotspots. Root 11 from the get-go. Yep, Windows 11 is the way to go. Way, go, way, root, root. 11, you, you don't get it? Well, at least I have one fan. This new OS has come to grow on me, especially after experiencing what it had to offer in terms of features and functionality. For a start, out of the box, the ZenBook 14 OLED series comes with Windows 11 pre-installed and switched to dark mode. Please note that this is not a random choice of OS and setting. No, 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 no. These two properties play a key role in the screen experience. Windows Dark Mode helps in reducing OLED burning, among other remedies adopted on the same. This includes a default OLED screen protection feature that dims the screen after five minutes idle, a warranty of OLED screens where 7,000 hours are guaranteed at 200 nits, and adoption of a new OLED burning refined technology on the screens by the manufacturer. This is how the tech works. With extended use, certain pixels on the display may age, resulting in degraded colors referred to as burn-in. Now, Samsung's OLED current driving algorithm detects the aging pixels and enhances the current passing through these pixels. This mechanism enables the degraded pixels to display brighter colors and as a result, show accurate perceived colors. All of this happens on top of Windows 11 that accommodates a dynamic refresh rate feature where your system automatically changes the refresh rate on the basis of the app interface and workflow, making the user interface responsive. The entire display feels smooth to work with and all the Windows 11 gestures are supported and work flawlessly, including with the stylus pen. How is Root 11 not the way to go? Huh? Harman is the best. Cardon? Yes, you heard me. The sound by Harman Cardon on the Asus ZenBook 14 series laptops continues to improve over time. Of course, we are still dealing with a small form factor device, so don't expect a lot of power. It still manages to put out clear sound with noise filtered out. And just a notable mention before I forget is the noise cancellation feature on the microphone. Asus AI noise cancelling audio employs machine learning in order to isolate unwanted noise from human speech. With the increase of remote work and video conferences, Asus implemented this AI noise cancelling technology to ensure the best experience. Clear voice mic to only capture your voice clearly and clear voice speaker to filter out all ambient noises apart from your voice. So you will hear what everyone else is saying and you'll also be heard very clearly. Next level stuff. Yota Tisakumi, let's talk about the money. When it's all said and done, we are looking at a productivity work machine with a study design, build and form factor, a performance beast and a portable convertible OLED beauty that is of a class of its own. You can buy the Asus ZenBook 14 Flip OLED at Elevators Technologies for 160,000 Kenya shillings, which uh, is actually cheaper than if you try and import it from abroad. Mm -hmm. A worthwhile investment, if you ask me. I hope to see you rocking one of these units soon with your name written all over it. Till the next one, Simkai Pork.